Hello guys, in your filament projects, sometimes you may have a requirement to log in with phone number instead of email. For example, this is a screenshot from specification from a real job I saw on Upwork, login page, fields, mobile number and password. And email is not even present, so phone is instead of email. And I double checked the specification, specifically it states no email used. So perhaps in some regions or some countries it's more common to use phone and SMS instead of email. So how to implement that in filament. And we've created the demo project and first let me show you how it works and then we'll dive into the code. So for example let's try to register and I will enter the phone number and receive the SMS for verification. So for the phone number I choose my country Lithuania and I will put in my phone number. On the screen I'm showing fake phone number but behind the scenes I will use my real phone number to receive the verification SMS. And this will be the next screen that I'm presented with and I receive the SMS with the code that I need to put here with one time password. So this is the password and what happens in the database. This is the user's table with my phone number and that code which has expiration time, which is 10 minutes by default, but you can customize that. And then if I put in that code and verify my phone number, then I'm inside the dashboard. And then in the database, if we refresh, we have those cleared up and verified at is set correctly. And then whenever I need to sign in, I'm also doing that with the phone number. So I'm entering phone number and password and sign in. And since I'm verified already, I just log into the dashboard. Now, how does it all look in the code? Disclaimer, the full source code of this project will be available on filamentexamples.com for premium members of Filament Examples. So we've put that here and we actually implemented that in Filament only after we implemented that in Laravel. So on Laravel daily, we have project example section. And first we implemented it here with Laravel without Filament, but then some people suggested to do that in Filament. So the example is here, but in this video, I will still explain you the main things that you need to know. First thing from Laravel point of view, the SMS sending. So SMS is powered by notifications in Laravel and one of the documentation section is about SMS notifications and Laravel suggests the provider called Vonage, formerly known as Nexmo and this is exactly what I will use in this project. Here's my Vonage dashboard with some free credit left. So if you want to send SMS in Filament or in Laravel rather, you create Laravel notifications and configure Vonage with a few things that I've put in .env.example here and then you run PHP Artisan make notification, for example, send OTP notification notification and then return Vonage as via provider and then to Vonage. You specify the content for this message with content function which gives you the SMS that I show on the screen. Next, the user model. First, we need to add those two fields that I've shown, OTP code and OTP expires at, and I've added them into the main migration of users. You can create a separate migration, so those are here, both nullable, and also OTP code should be hidden by default, same as password for security reasons. Also, OTP code is cast to integer and phone is cast to phone number, which is for phone number validation. I'll get to that in a minute. And then the main logic of phone verification is that we're using email verification default with Laravel and Filament, just overriding the fields from email to phone. So as you can see, has verified email and get email for verification contain this phone and verified ad is the field number instead of email verified ad that comes by default with Laravel. And also we define which phone number to use for SMS. So this is from user model perspective. And also on top, of course, you can see implements must verify email. So there's no must verify phone. We just override the email logic of Laravel verification and replace it with phone numbers. You can read more about email verification logic in the Laravel documentation. Same thing, implements must verify email and more details here. I will link that in the description below. So this is one of the proofs and one of the examples that you need to know Laravel quite well to customize something in Filament. Now let's get to the filament side. In the main admin panel provider, we basically overwrite all the functions for authentication with our own classes. So as you can see, we enable login, registration, profile, 
email verification and password reset, but we have classes for each of those. So if you want to replace email with phone number in all of your application, it actually touches quite a lot of different pages and logic parts. It's not just login and register. But if we take a look, for example, at register class, this is how you generally customize registration form. So you generate a page in app filament pages auth register, for example, you can place it somewhere else, but basically you need to extend the base register class, this one from filament, and you need to override whatever you want to override in your registration form. So for example, here in the form, we override email form component with phone form component and also override send email verification to this logic and this is exactly where we generate that one time password and this is how that phone form component looks like and here you can see phone input for that for that beautiful phone input with country choice we use a package this one by yusuf kaya called filament phone input and i will link that in the description below and you can read all of those settings it's quite a lot to read in the readme file so yeah this is how we override the registration with our own logic and similarly in the admin panel provider you can see login class we also extend the base login from filament and override the form email component to phone input using the same package and also we override get credentials to use data phone instead of data email then filament takes care under the hood to verify phone and password instead of email and password for authentication now how do we verify the phone number and the format for that we use another package so the thing that i've showed already a minute ago casting this one phone number cast comes from another package not filament package this is a laravel package called laravel phone which looks like this also pretty popular package with almost 3000 stars and also quite a lot to read after installation you can validate like this or do attribute casting this is exactly what we used in our project so again, I will put the link to that package in the description below and you may read more details here. One more example of something from Laravel world that you need to use in Filament world. Now, if we go back to our admin panel provider, in the same fashion, we override all the other classes like profile with form component and email verification has also its own dedicated class inside of Filament. So you get the idea. You override all those classes with your own logic, including phone number. Also, I can show you the blade view for that phone verification, for example, this one phone verification prompt is a blade file and side note this is what i miss in cursor i've been using cursor for quite a while as my primary editor so in php storm that i used before with laravel idea this would be clickable but now i need to search for that manually anyway for that verification page we extend simple page of filament panels and this is our form where we just render this form that is automatically built from this class from these fields which is actually one field so this blade file is almost identical to core filament blade file for verification but we need to change some texts here like verify phone instead of verify email so that's why we need to take the blade out of filament core and have our own blade view not all of the things in filament are easily customizable with options or parameters quite often actually in filament you need to override the classes or the blade files from the core and then inside here you're free to do almost whatever you want the final thing from security point of view if you're changing the phone number don't forget in edit profile to again re-verify the phone number so after save in the edit profile we do need to regenerate the one-time password and again redirect to the verification page in case of user was changed phone was changed is an eloquent function so basically if the object column was changed in the database during that request then we perform the re-verification so yeah a pretty long explanation although i feel it was just a rundown overview so you would think to change email to phone would be just some setting or some option but no there are quite a lot of things to customize including all the forms related to auth would you maybe have done something differently we can discuss in the comments below and again if you want the full source of that project as well as other 74 projects we currently have in our filament examples you can purchase the membership and then you get the access to the repository on github containing all the code of all those projects and later in 2025 when filament 4 is released the plan is to update all of them to filament 4. But for now, that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.